Here's how to make and receive calls on your MacBook. Now, if you wanted to be able to call someone or have someone call you on your MacBook Pro, MacBook Air, whatever you may have, I'll show you how to do it. But first, hit the subscribe button down below. It really helps me out. Thanks, guys. Now, the first thing we'll do is open up your FaceTime app. So to do that, we'll tap on the little magnifying glass at the top, right? And we'll just type in FaceTime and hit enter. You'll be able to see it automatically opens up with the camera. However, you don't necessarily need to make a FaceTime call from here. You can just make a normal call. I'll show you how to do it. The first thing you need to do is tap on FaceTime at the top left, and then we'll tap on settings from there. Once we're in settings, of course, you can see I'm logged into my Apple account and it says you can be reached at. Make sure at least your phone number is selected there. You can choose to select your email addresses as well. However, you also want to check calls from your iPhone. This will allow you to send and receive calls from your iPhone if you have an iPhone on your MacBook Pro, MacBook Air, iMac, whatever you may have. Now, after we've done that, all you need to do is hit new FaceTime. And now if I basically add someone in here, I don't need to do a normal FaceTime call. I can tap on the little drop down arrow at the bottom right, and you can see I can do FaceTime audio, or I can call this number using my iPhone, just a normal phone call. And you can see FaceTime audio that will basically ring through the Wi-Fi or call through the Wi-Fi signal instead of my phone signal, but essentially it won't have any video, it'll just be audio. Now keep in mind whenever someone calls you as well, it will ring to your phone, iPhone if you have one, as well as your MacBook. I hope this helps. If it did, hit the like button down below and leave a comment if you still have any questions. Thanks guys.